Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Can somebody shout grace? <laughs> that is what decreases your struggle and increases your accomplishment. What grace does, it decreases your struggle, decreases your sweat, bring your hardship to nothing, and increases your accomplishment. You just found out that it is no longer you. That's what Paul said. It's not me. Even though I labor more than every one of them, but it's not me that is working. It is by the grace of who? God. By the grace of God. Divine element by grace. It gives you divine capacity to incapacitate all the challenge, all the struggles in your business. Grace gives you capacity to destroy, to eliminate, to disarm the forces that challenges you in marriage, that challenges your finances, that confronts you in your business. When grace comes on you, they look like nothing. You begin to move like a trailer, a full loaded trailer descending a hill without break. Nothing stays in the front of that trailer. Whatever stays, it crushes. When it comes on you, you dismantle challenges. You break obstacles. How you don't even understand. Listen, when grace is one, two minutes prayer amounts more than your three hours prayer. I need you to get something this morning. When grace is operating, just two minutes bang down your head gives you more result than locking yourself inside for five hours. Does it mean that praying for five hours does not mean anything? No, it does. But when you're operating under grace, there is nothing around you that qualifies the result you are getting. Is anybody listening to me? I'm a product of grace. There is nothing around me that qualifies what I'm seeing and what I'm getting. Nothing. 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 So I understand grace. And that's why I'm not... Oh, they say, oh, Bishop, you only say a very humble man. You don't understand. Because I, it's just grace. When I look back, I know it's grace. I know this guy, if you leave him, if you leave this guy, look, he won't get here. His generation didn't get here. His father's generation didn't get here. His grandfather's generation didn't get here. So for him to come here, somebody shout grace. It's grace. That a man has made mistake upon mistake upon mistake and is making progress. How do you explain it? I 
hear some, some people complain out here and they say, you see, I, 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 I kept myself, I preserved myself, I mean, look at my age. It's great, so. He said, but look at that one. Was so wayward. Green car drop her in the morning. The yellow car pick her in the afternoon. In the night, it is black car. Every day, she's going out and coming in with different men. Yet, he got married. <laughs> but in me, I present. Can I hear someone shout grace? Yeah. When grace is operating, God doesn't take permission from anybody. <laughs> when grace is working, it doesn't look at your past. No, it doesn't. Is that we show mercy upon whom I will show mercy? That's why you will be so shocked on the last day. You will be shocked the kind of people you see in heaven. That to the point you will say, if God just give me permission, I will tell God this one, remove him from here. But unfortunately, you don't have that right. When you get there, you don't have the right. There are people you wouldn't want to be in heaven. In fact, they did so wicked things that they shouldn't near heaven, but you just see them there. Maybe in the last 24 hours of their life, they made right. The thief was on the cross. He said, remember me in that kingdom. Jesus said, you would be with me in paradise tonight. To the entire world, to everybody, he was crucified as a thief. But in the last hour of his life, oh, la ka, la bagala, shakapa. Look at somebody by his side and say, don't condemn me. Look at another person and say, grace is working for me. Can I hear you shout hallelujah? Grace is God's unmerited favor in this sense that when it comes to human capacity, human qualification, you are not. But this element, somebody say element, this element shows up. There are too many things you don't know about me. That if you know them, eh, you will celebrate God for me. Oh. I'm telling you. Divine element that brings favor. What is favor? Favor is to be preferred, valued, and esteemed above others. That's what favor is. That God just look at you and pick you from the back and give you a seat in the front. Favor. <laughs> if there is nothing like grace, somebody like Esther will not enter the, the palace. One, she has no father, no mother. Two, She's a slave. And slaves, those days, they, they use them like animals. So how come she was preferred? Number three, she, she was not a citizen of that nation. So she doesn't look like them. The Babylonians are different from the Jews. So it is not your look. It is not a make up or a make down. It is not the sixteen cheese nails that brings husband. It is not your classic suit. It is what? Grace. Favor. She didn't eat what others were eating. And as they were passing, and those who were more beautiful, those who were more elegant, those who have straight legs, those who have pointed nose, those who have big boss and small one, they were passing. And the king was looking. Lift up your right and say, Lord, Lord. let favor locate me. Favor means to be preferred. 
to be esteemed more than others. More than others. I was talking with Mama on, on Tuesday. We were just gisting. She now reminded me of something that happened in this ministry many years ago. Because of this calling, I don't store some things. I don't, my, 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 my capacity of storing things is just low. Because if I store everything, I will just die. Guess what? We were on our own. When poverty was everywhere. If you see the old old freezer we managed to buy the thing don't serve serve the thing is just asking what did i do wrong how did that come how did that come into this family so the thing was not cooling well so one of our members here said the lord spoke to her oh god she brought this first some years back I, I arrived in a place when i saw the military that came to welcome me i saw generals and they were taking salute. I said, me? <laughs> I went to a particular church. These this are just amazing things. As I arrived, I was shocked. Women removed their wrapper and put, because there was no carpet. They said, I should not march on the ground. I said, no, I don't want to. They said, this is what they want to do. So they laid their wrapper as I was walking. As one finished, they carry and put another one. I will just walk. I said, What kind of what kind of thing is this? What kind of thing is this? When favor is on you, men celebrate you. You have access to and have people you never thought you will ever. You enter places you never. I was in Liberia. They said I should meet the president. Me? Yes. They took me. That was when Chastello was the president. They took me to meet Chastello. I lay my hand on his head. And I reconciled him with his wife. He abandoned for years. If you ask me, that's not why I went to Liberia. But how did I reconcile marriage that was broken? Somebody shall grace. Every word I said, he obeyed. This is what you should do. Take this woman back. He obeyed. Madam apologized. He apologized. She apologized. Next day, passes back to the house. And then Charles Taylor was one tough human being, even in Africa, was Lord. Yet yeah, this small man. Grace, favor. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. It qualifies you to dine with the nobles. Gives you cheap success. Grace is God's willingness. To, please, if you are writing, I need you to write this. It is God's willingness to get involved in your affairs despite your inadequacies god's willingness to get involved in the things that concerns you in the challenges in the troubles of your life god still found it convenient to get involved even in the pit of mess you have found yourself in the place where everybody seemed to ridicule you god still found it that he is willing to get involved. He looks at you in adequacies. He says, that's okay. I'm involved. He looks at what people are saying about you. He says, I'm involved. He looks at how people have dropped you on the ground. He says, don't worry. I'll take you up. He picks your mess. And turns it into a message. He takes the ridiculeness of people... And creates a beautiful message. For he does all things beautiful in his time.
Thank you.